Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can complement a function. We have learned already another way of complementing a function, but in this tutorial, we are going to try in a much easier way. So, uh, let's begin. So, this is our function x prime y z prime plus x prime y prime z. This is our function. So, we are going to uh, complement it and we are going to do it by following these two rules here. These are very simple rules. At first, we are going to take the dual of that function that means this is the function so we're going to uh, make the dual out of it at first and then after dwelling it will complement each literal so let's uh, go into that procedure one by one so let me begin here so at first I want to dwell the function all right I want to dwell the function we have already learned the rules of duality I guess so uh, in case of duality we know that we have to change the operators and identity elements that means we have to change uh, those pluses into dots and those dots into pluses that means we have to change between and and or and we have to change between one and zero so this is the rules of uh, duality principle so we have already learned that so right now uh, we're just going to follow those rules to uh, to do the first step of complementing a function so let me just write it down here so at first I'm going to work on this part so at this part I can see it is written here as x prime y z prime alright so uh, the sign among these uh, among these literals are actually ends so we need to change them to or so what I need to write here is something like this x prime plus y plus z prime all right so i'm just dwelling the function here so here is the main plus sign of that function so that means this is indicating or so i'm going to change it to and that means i'm going to change it into dot all right so then the second part here i can see uh, the uh, this part here says uh, x prime y prime z so and the sign among them is actually and so i'm going to change it to or so x prime plus y prime sorry plus y prime plus z all right so i have already made the dual out of this function so i'm done with the first part all right i'm done with the first part so let me just take it down here so i'm done with the first part so uh, let's do the second part right now so to do the second part I need to uh, complement each literal so, right? so what do we mean by literal so literal actually means uh, each individual uh, what can I say each individual stuff right there all right so this is a literal 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 and this is another literal and this is another literal so uh, each of those individual things are known as literals so what I'm going to do is I'm going to complement each of them so how can I do it so complementing means if one literal is with x prime then I'm going to uh, ignore the prime I'm going to, and I'm going to write it as x and so I'm gonna write it as x I'm gonna keep the sign here as or and see here in this case the literal is actually y so if it is uh, written as y then I'm going to add the prime here so uh, I guess you have already uh, gotten the idea of complementing each literals uh, it means if a literal is with a prime then I remove that prime but if there is a literal which does not have any prime with it then I add the prime sign all right hope you understand so basically uh, it's something like this so let me just write it down here if it's a then complementing it means a prime and if it is a prime but then by complementing a prime I'm getting only a all right this is what I'm saying by uh, complementing each literals okay so let's continue so here then the plus sign and there uh, it is z prime so I'm going to write it as z all right so then the dot sign then here is again x prime so I'm going to complement it and I'm going to write it as x and here is y prime so i'm going to write it as y and there is z and i'm going to write it as z prime all right so that's it that is my final answer so this is basically my uh, step two so both of these steps have been done 
So this is the final answer I'm getting. So if I complement this function, then the final answer will be this one x plus y prime plus z dot x plus y plus z prime. All right. So uh, let me just show you another example. So here is another example of complementing a function. So rules uh, stay the same. So let me uh, begin here. So I can see the function is x uh, dot y prime z prime plus y z. So at first I want to take the dual of that function. So to take the dual I just need to uh, change the identity elements and operators. Right? So I'm going to write x and since this is uh, actually end, the sign is uh, end between them. So I'm going to change it to or. So I'm going to uh, give a plus sign here and then the bracket and then y prime and then I can see that there is an and sign so I'm going to change it to or so then z prime and here I can see that there is a uh, there is an or sign so I'm going to change it into and so uh, I'm just uh, okay so this is the dot sign to make it and and I'm just giving the bracket so that I can understand it uh, in a better way. All right. So here I can see uh, y is ended with z actually. So the sign between them uh, is actually end. So I'm going to change it to or. So I'm going to write y plus z. All right. So uh, the first part is done. So I have already calculated the dual of that function. So now. I'm just going to complement each literal. So I've already told you that complementing each literal means that I have to complement all of these individual uh, individual stuffs. So x, y prime, z prime, all of those are known as literals. So I'm going to complement all of them. So if there is something like a, I'm going to write a prime. If there is something like a prime, then I'm going to write it as a. So since uh, it is x, so I'm going to change it to x prime. So uh, then plus. So since this is y prime, so I'm going to write it as y plus plus. Uh, so this is z prime, so I'm going to write it as z. All right. So then the dot sign, then the uh, then the other part. So this is y. So I'm going to write it as y prime, and then the plus sign. And since this is z, so I'm going to complement it and write it as z prime. All right. So I hope you uh, understand it. So uh, this is already done. So I have already calculated the complement. For each of those literals too so this is the final answer I'm getting so if I complement this function then the final answer will be this one alright so uh, I think you have already gotten the idea that uh, the complementing a function is actually very easy so if we just follow these two simple rules then it becomes really easy for us to complement a function so we just need to calculate the dual of the function at the first part and then we need to complement each of the literals uh, of that uh, of that function I should say alright so uh, there are two steps at first uh, let me just erase it down here so that I can number them so at first I need to find the uh, dual of the fun of the given function. So this is my given function. So I have calculated the dual here So this is part one and once I get the dual then I just need to complement each of the literals of that dual function All right, so I just complemented each of the literals from that dual function over here So this is my part two. All right, so I hope you uh, understand it and uh, I guess you have already got the idea. So hopefully it will not be a problem for you Thank you.